Welcome back everyone, this is Dom, and we are playing Kerbal Realism today. This is episode 4 in season 2. As promised from last episode, we are going to be spending some science today. If I can put my hand on the mouse correctly. We have 102 science <laughs> to spend today. Um, and uh, we have uh, contracts that we need to fulfill with some of these uh, parts that we're going to be buying. So what we're actually going to do is first order of business. I really, really like to do things in the order of the tree. So if we are going to go to the right, I want to have all of these done before we get all of these. But, but the main disadvantage is that nowhere in these trees here do we have a solar panel. And that's actually going to be our number one limiting factor is keeping our electric charge on any of our future vehicles. So what I want to do today is prepare for our next mission. Uh, and our next mission will require photovoltaic panels, uh, so solar panels. Now our next big mission is actually, do, 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 do. there it is. Uh, it's going to be right here from the fluid, fluid, <laughs> fluid uh, dynamics research labs. Uh, they want us to explore the moon, so we are going to achieve orbit, uh, get some science from the space around the moon, land on the moon, and then take scientific data from the surface of the moon. Now, while we're there, we want to bring Mr. U containers, and we also want to bring our science junior module, along with if we can get another science module before we get there, uh, so that we can get the most science for the cost that we're spending on the trip. We will not be spending the amount of money that we'll be receiving so we'll actually be making a profit off of it but what i want to do as well while we're doing this mission here is get as much science out of the mission as well so we can unlock more nodes now like i said in that mission we're going to probably want to bring the science junior uh, but what we need is batteries and uh, photovoltaic cells or solar panels now the big issue is I don't have enough science to do that, and I really want this engine to get us there, uh, potentially, or at least a couple of these rockets here, the solid rocket boosters here. They help with uh, the actual design of the rocket along those lines. So what we're going to do is we are going to do some local science uh, and some local contracts to get our science up enough so we can get this node, this node, and this node all before we head to the moon. So today is going to be a prep mission for the moon, or MUN. So we're going to first off get this node right here. We're not going to be doing anything large, uh, large-scale projects with uh, that we need solar panels for, so long-distance projects or anything just yet. So we might as well get the Science Junior so we can use that locally. Um, Let's see what else is in here. We can get a survey unit uh, and the, the camera, which we will be using in future videos, of course. Uh, we also unlocked these two to be unlocked in the future, but the next one on this tree, this branch, I guess, or whatever you call this, uh, <laughs> this level here would be the solar panels that we get. Uh, and we could unlock one of these, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. So. We've unlocked it, the unlocked it, unlocked the science junior, and uh, what I want to do is kind of go through the contracts here, and look at something that can give us more science or a lot of science. See these give you like eight, eight, two, seventeen. That's not that bad. Um, you have to use a type of decoupler, radial decoupler, at a certain altitude. That's fairly easy to do. It might cost us more than this to perform, though, so I don't know if I want to do that. 41 science for testing um, jet engine in a certain altitude and speed. Hmm. <sighs> I don't think I have an air breathing... I don't think I have an intake. Hmm. So I don't know if we can do this yet. I don't think we can do that yet. And, uh, yeah, they're all low science value. So I think we have to do this on our own. I'm going to go ahead and design our puddle skipper or our puddle jumper uh, rocket. So let's go ahead and jump into that. I usually design one of these uh, just so that we always have enough 
basically every single time that I need to get local science, I like to do a design similar to this. So I take our command pod, uh, I always stick two of these mystery goo containers on it, on the pod itself most of the time. Um, yep, that's good. We will stick any, we're going to stick Science Junior under it, that's usually what I end up doing, and then some sort of fuel, and usually the LV-909. With, do I have any landing legs? Yes I do, sweet. That was something that we would have had to unlock if we did not have it for our next trip. We can scale them. Ooh. Extend! Uh, I'd rather have them the normal size. So we're going to start with those deployed. Uh, we'll just sit on the launch pad. We'll launch this guy up as best we can. Let's put the flight computer on there for funsies. Cool. Uh, we have just enough to get us kind of scooting around the space center. I don't have wheels, so this is the only way to do it uh, with the budget we have. <laughs> Um, and we could even put a nice little antenna on if we wanted to transmit stuff, but there's no point really. But what we really want are, oh, by the way, uh, radial shoots is what we really want. Uh, by the way, I figured out that the radial shoots, the ones from Real Shoot, actually do cost money. Uh, they, for example, we are at 6,017, even though it shows us zero cost, I'm pointing with my finger, which you guys cannot see. Um, uh, it shows zero cost right here for our radial shoot, and the other one would show 300, if I can do that, 300 per radial shoot. These cost, if I stick them on there, approximately 700, uh, sorry, 360 a piece. Uh, actually, I think it's 350, uh, 355 or something like that, if you do the math out for me, which somebody should do for me. Um, <laughs> I am not entirely the best at math at all times. Now, the I don't know, really know the difference between them, but yeah. Anyways, I, I put I'm putting extra ones on there just because our terminal velocity would be if I can find it. Stage recovery. There we go. Let's read what it says. 4.5 meters per second. If we did not have these on there, we can see what our terminal velocity would be it would be 8.3. Now that's not entirely my favorite speed to be landing. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, to be landing at all. So we are going to throw these on there just to give us a nice um, a nice reading, I guess. And cool. So that's a decent speed to be landing at. And I think that's it for science. Now, what I could do, and what I'm gonna have to do, because I can't do this, I what I would love to do is put a, like a ladder on uh, so that we can have Jeb get in and out. Uh, I usually use Jeb for all my missions, just because it's easier to just kind of auto-select him. Uh, it'd be nice for him to get be able to get out of the craft, do the science, get back in. Now, what we're gonna probably do is just have him hang off, do the flying over EVA, jump them off and recover the two vessels separately. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing. So, I always call these the puddles. Puddle one. Cool. Save that. We will go ahead and launch her. Hopefully my controls are set correctly today. And it's going to be night. So, I'm actually going to Skip today, if we possibly can. Whoa! There we are. Perfect. Because I don't like night. He's been sitting there for basically hours. Um, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and before... Uh, we will get the science from here later. But uh, what I want to do is get the science data from, I think, the runway is one of the ones that I have not done yet. So let's go ahead and take control of this bad boy here. Don't know what's going on. I don't have control apparently. Something weird is happening. 
Aha, that's what it was. We were still in fast motion. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and head towards the runway here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Don't hit my flag. It's a pretty flag. And we're going to try to stop before we get there. Because I am pro at this. We don't have to use parachutes for that. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> let's do a crew report from here. We got a crew report from the runway. Let's do a, a mystery goo here from the runway. Uh, we will do a materials bay from the runway, of course. We will do an EVA from over the shores. That doesn't count for anything. So since this is now basically all scienced out, we are just going to let ourselves go plop and get some more science from here. So EVA from the runway, runway and surface sample from the runway. So we're going to switch to this one, recover it, and then we'll pick up Jeb. And I'm going to do this a couple times off camera. Um, and that's just kind of the gist of what we are doing to get more science. There's 12 science just from this pod itself. So the crew report, the materials bay, the mystery goo, and uh, that's basically it that got added to that for 12 and we basically got all of our money back and then we can just go back in here recover this guy and that should be it for him recover got 11.4 for him so 9 from surface sample in 2.4 for the EVA no parts but reputation cool so I'm going to do this a couple more times, and we will see what else we can unlock. And we're back after that little short intermission, which I liked uh, how I'm going to be putting that together. I think it's going to be pretty cool. You guys already saw it. I didn't. Um, <laughs> the uh, We have now enough science, and I did one off ca Actually, I think I did two off camera. Now we have 185 science, and this is all locally gotten. Uh, just the same process that you guys just saw. And uh, so what we're going to do is we have 185 so that means we actually have enough to research this node this node and this node right here now the basically that means that i'm not breaking my rule for completing an entire level uh and then moving on so let's go ahead and get our advanced rocketry node we will pick up our general construction node which gives us the the decouplers i really like these decouplers the best because they give you a little bit more of a spread off of the main fuselage and it also gives us our tricoupler which i really like to use on our uh, uh on a moon rocket and uh also gives us enough to get our uh, what are those things called the photovoltaic photovoltaic cells and it unlocks all these nodes just for us to stare at it and ogle at and have some fun knowing that we're going to be getting all these parts in the future. Oh, so nice, so nice. But we definitely need solar panels to keep our guys alive longer. 
electricity seems to be the number one, or electric charge, seems to be the number one thing that goes on these missions. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And that is all the science we can spend today. So we have... Let's check our funds here. We basically didn't burn through very many of our funds. We, we mostly recovered everything except for the fuel that we spent on our puddle missions. And uh, we got enough science to basically unlock all of, let's see, one, two, 180 science uh, left. I don't know how much that was that we actually got this episode, but uh, that's going to be it. Uh, that is going to be it for this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than uh, what I normally do, but what I'm going to do in between is make the rocket to go to the, the, the moon, or MUN, and uh, we'll do that in the next episode to complete our current contract. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.